So I've been asked a few times how I did the exhaust and about the headers and everything I used on this LS truck rollback just because it's got the PTO and the flave cylinder and a lot of people that are flopping the trucks are dealing with that issue. Well, I'll show you and explain a little bit in this video. If you want to see this video and more videos on this truck, check out my channel and in the playlist section, look for the Scrub Body Chevy playlist. There's tons of videos on this truck. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I did the exhaust on this Chevrolet C20. I think C10 is a little... The reservoir I noticed is broke. I forgot about that to this video, and it's still broke. I have not fixed that yet. The wiring on top of the engine is loomed and fixed now. A little bit different, but you know, you probably just set up to on a C10. Now, I tried three or four different sets of... Now the headers that I'm talking about, you can see a good view here. These is Brock Hugger headers off eBay. They're pretty cheap, hundred and some dollars. They got the V-band cramp. They ain't got a mash on fringe. They got a cramp that's kind of a circle and they mash together and uh, they V-band together your pipes. It's like turbo setup and stuff like that. It makes it exhaust easy to remove. Also makes it easy to stop a leak you don't have that gasket in between so that's what we used on this uh long tube headers didn't work you know the ones that do clear the five cylinder supposed to on these trucks hit my pto you can see my mouse moving right here it's on back right around in R, so couldn't use them so block huggers it was headers and manifolds on this and the ones that worked for me you can see it's these cheap eBay wire covers because I got a PTO down there now. Don't mind the wiring. The wiring is not done. Uh, Side note, those, uh, you notice that plug was touching the header? You need to dent those before you header wrap them because I didn't do that. Um, they burn wires pretty often. I got to carry some behind my seat. Plan on either trying to dent them here soon, making a video on it, or upgrade into a ceramic spark plug uh, wires on this engine it's basically just to move it around the yard and don't you dare comment on the battery tunnel that is fixed now stuff uh that's my ground made a video you on know it. i don't have a thing so yeah i use vice grips for now that's not permanent hopefully it's not probably is let's go down in here take a look at the driver's side you can you can see the v band clamp right there very nice if you ain't never seen one before it's it's a good setup now you gotta be careful when you weld it onto your pipe because they come with a part that goes is on goes is on goes on to your pipe and you gotta weld that you don't want to warp that so when you go to weld that make sure the pipe is on to the other flange so when it dissipates heat it goes even because if you ain't got that pipe flange uh, connected to the other flange that it needs to go to it can cool on one side and warp so you want to have them tight welded and then take them apart once they cooled. You can see the five cylinder, this header fits perfect. Plugs are a little tight on both sides. I would recommend some heat shields. I don't recommend heat shields in this video I did. Uh, heat shields do not work, so don't waste your time. I tried. Or at least header wrap on them to keep from burning your plug. Header wrap don't work neither. Past James, it didn't work. So let's check out underneath before I start it up. This is the air breather I did. This is just a, some spare parts I had laying around. Those are spare parts from some donations from people I know that built cold air intakes for the turbo setups and stuff. And also, uh, you know, just parts I had laying around. Now the filter is from Avance and it was 60 some dollars. That's the most expensive thing on the air filter set up found and some buddies donated basically uh, to piece together and it looks extremely good I plan on putting AC on this with the pancake style AC up top eventually uh, that will have to be redone uh, the AC air thing probably with a straight elbow uh, straight elbow a uh, straight pipe in place of this kind of a elbow it needs a bracket built for it too. That's not the final uh, thing. So I forgot underneath. it does need a bracket. I've been driving it like that. On this, I bought a new piping. If you can see all the way down through here. And new 
mufflers. Now the piping I got from O'Wally's, you can buy it in uh, 10 foot sticks. Now the piping is from O'Wally's Auto Parts. You can order piping at most any Auto Parts place. Just get somebody that knows what they're doing behind the counter. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for this. This is not like super quality pipe now. It will start to flash rust very soon. It's not super thick, galvanized, uh, stainless type pipe. It's about 30 some dollars a stick. It's 30 some dollars a stick, I said. So it's been a while back when I made this video. So probably 35 a stick. Uh, I think a 10 foot stick, so. Just so you know, so if you need exhaust pipe, they can usually get it up to four inches. See the header clearance. Now you can see my 5 cylinder right here and my O2 sensors and that V-Van clamp very good. It's just got a a 90 from O'Reilly's here and, uh, and you can see where I welded it to the V-Van. You can see it passes the 5 cylinder extremely good. They plenty of room there. You see my oil pressure sensor right here on the side. I actually ended up having to put an oil pressure gauge aftermarket onto this because it just wouldn't work with the factory one. Uh, they got a, I guess you could say, kind of a resistors built into the old gauges and my resistors were bad so it wasn't working. So I replaced the whole gauge. Look over my welds. And I just cramped it together though with uh, most, uh, exhaust pipe cramps. Just make it easier to get on and off. I didn't want them fully welded. And I didn't have no V-band clamps for that section, so it works. And I got my exhaust where I can remove it. They just a simple exhaust cramp right there. Muffler hanger. I need to add one or two more muffler hangers. I still ain't had it added added those other muffler hangers. That's the original Flowmaster 40. That is the original 40 series if you like the sound of the truck. Just the straight original 40s. Not the Deltas, not anything like that like that just the original chambered 40 series mufflers they are made in china now and uh they not as good a quality as the usa stamp ones but they still as pricey and you ain't gonna find unless you buy them used the usa ones because the uh, full master sold out but the mufflers are holding up good and the quality seems to not be as good but still pretty decent and it's turned down to the ground Let's look at the passenger side. It was the fun one. I got the top way down because laying on gravels is not fun and I'm... that scared me. Speaking of uh, that, uh, thank you guys for everyone who watched my last video. Uh, I showed you the tools that I had in stock on the eBay store. In case you didn't know, I do have an eBay store. We sold out of the tools. Yes, one day. Uh, I do got some new vintage hats in stock on the eBay store. If you want to check them out, this hat will be listed sometime tonight, if that's something you're into. I know as car guys and car girls, you know, we into hats. I don't know. It's just something about, you know, the, I, I don't know anybody that's not into hats that messes with cars, 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 uh, cars or trucks. Because it keeps the sun out of your eye and stuff from get falling in your face when you're under a truck you can do this and when you're welding you can do this you know hats is important that's why i wear a hat but yeah they they on the store go check it out link in the description below they tons of stuff on there i might find something you want uh money's tight if you want to show a little extra support it helps but don't buy anything you don't need as always and leave a note to sell it if you're a viewer actually in my pjs Making this video. Because no I'm taking it easy today. I kind of like the Now I don't I have a pipe bender at this location. And moving a roll back. I showed those welds on camera. I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed. I show everything on camera. I didn't come out right. But uh, when you don't have a pipe bender on hand, you, you are the pipe bender. And that's basically what we did. We cut a flies here. And then we bend the pipe and you go to gap and then we just plated the gap. Heck. Now, my plan is to get a pipe bender and we do its exhaust and just undo this and everything's pre-bent the way I need to do it. And then just have one big piece of pipe. A tow truck to where I needed it would have been one expensive tow bill. So, I can remove this pipe at any time, take it and have it pre-bent. 
the way I want it. But there ain't no leaks too bad at the moment. I have this was done with flux core, not gas too, by the way. I have one little pinhole I need to address. But as I said, my pipes are removable. So taking this and having the pipe custom mint is, is very simple to do. But you can see the bending that I had to do. If you look at it, it kicks over. And it has to go up some to dodge the PTO and all that. The muffler is a Flowmaster Original 40 series to a ton down on this side too because you want them to sound the same. If you're new to the channel, by the way, that's a 6.0 with a floppy stage 2 cam. It is a floppy stage 2 cam. It is a 6.0. We built it here on the channel. LS Engines uh, playlist. Got the full build of this. We drilled the pistons. Uh, Trailblazer SS 92 millimeter throttle body Trailblazer SS intake is what I meant. Um, the HD alternator, the hydro boost power steering, so we can run the factory hydro boost. Mm, 789 heads, uh, and the, not too fancy, but a good healthy little 6.0. 799 heads, and some other stuff done to it. 36 pound injectors. So now we start this, we make sure it's in. The 36 pound injectors is a little bit much. The tune is for 32, I got a set of 30s in it right now. Uh, trying to battle the richness because this tune was done in Texas. It's a copy tune of the same build. Mine's, mine's a low back and in Kentucky. And so the elevation's got the tune a little off. So we need to go in HP tuners and uh, tune that one day. The neutral, I need to do my gauges. And another video. If that clutch fan was good, it would stop in about a half a rotation to one rotation. And you can see it just kept spinning. So that needs replaced. Upcoming videos on that. They make three different ones, I think, for this. Maybe four if you count the electronic one. But I'll probably go to a severe duty style one for this application. So that's the way I did the exhaust on the C20. Any questions, just drop them in the comment section below. It's a C30, James, not a C20. What was you thinking? I did get done messing uh, earlier with a C20, so that's maybe why. It was some buddy's got a dually, you know, with five grass bed and stuff. Pretty cool little truck. And Four if you're new, get subscribed. If you return the subscriber, I appreciate you watching. We got this fun project coming up in the future, too. The fair lane is now in the field of dreams in Matt's, you know, uh, big old bottom. And a bunch of where the Trans Am, the other third gen is. 
the C10 with the 454, a lot of those other projects is down there at Matt's, so we're going to eventually move them up here and bring them back to the channel, but for now we just needed more room, and they plenty of room in that field, that's why we call it the Field of Dreams. Got a video of actual walk around of this car, I'll drop it in the description below, you know, you might want to check it out, who knows. So thanks for watching, see See you next time. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Uh, get subscribed if you haven't. And uh, hit that notification. Upload daily. Try my best. Check back.